Good evening, I'm Pat Callahan. The controversy at Cape Elizabeth High School continues to unfold. The principal has sent a lengthy letter to parents explaining the handling of the allegations about sexual assaults. In that letter, he says they have extensively investigated the claims and he's calling those claims rumors. New Center Maine's Rosalind Flaherty is here now to tell us more on what's been happening today. Ros? Yeah, Pat, that principal is making it clear he has had enough, saying the school has received a number of hateful messages, but he is sticking to his word that the school is safe. Cape Elizabeth High School's principal sent this strongly worded letter to parents, responding to concerns administrators are not addressing sexual assault allegations. This after three students were suspended for posting sticky notes, saying there was a rapist at the school. It makes me a little bit angry that I'm being punished for bullying and a rapist isn't being punished for raping people. In the letter, Principal Jeffrey Shedd says while students may have had good intentions, they made a bad choice to post the allegations on sticky notes, which have now made national headlines. He also says the real heroes in this are the students who brought the notes to officials after they were posted. Ayla Mansman is one of the students who first posted them. She says she did so because she doesn't feel heard by the administration. She and others went before the school board last spring with sexual assault concerns and says those concerns were never followed up. On a day to day level, we don't feel believed, we don't feel supported. But the school says they have extensively investigated the claims and that there is no truth to the rumors. Superintendent Donna Wolfram told us last week the school district investigated seven possible violations of Title IX concerning sexual harassment or sexual assault. And of those seven, Wolfram told us not all the allegations were founded, but all were thoroughly investigated. Are confident that our students are safe. In Wednesday's letter to parents, Principal Shedd says the young man who was the target of the sticky notes missed school because he felt unsafe, even though his name wasn't on those notes. Shedd also says the school has received hateful messages from across the country. As for Mansman, she still says something needs to be done to make students feel safe. She was among 40 who walked out of the high school earlier this week to protest. She and her family are still appealing her suspension. Now we reached out to the superintendent and the principal asking them for an interview about the letter. The superintendent's office said they both did not have time today. Pat. Thank you, Roz.